particular, even though I'm pissed off at 20th Century Fox for blocking us on our YouTube page for it. Um, but it is uh, posted on amiontheair.com under our trailers tab. It is on our Facebook page. Uh, go ahead and check that out because it is awesome. Um, and uh, last piece of news, this just broke this morning. Um, I know not too many people are fans of this group, but it is news nonetheless. Uh, the rock group Guar. Um, Guar is a very weird <laughs> rock group uh, that dresses up in these space alien monster type um, uniforms. And um, they've been around for a very, very long time. Uh, their lead singer, uh, Odorus Urungus, um, who his real name is Dave Brocky. Uh, he was found dead this morning. Um, actually, he was found dead yesterday evening uh, in his home. It was just announced uh, this morning that they found him and that he passed. He was 50 years old, and um, they ha- the band has confirmed in- that they found him in his home in Richmond, Virginia, uh, passed away. Um, a Richmond police spokesperson told the news that... Uh, a deceased individual was made at approximately 6.53 p.m. Eastern Time. When officers arrived, they found David M. Brocky, 50, deceased inside the home. Uh, foul play is not suspected at this time, and officials are waiting for the medical examiner's office to determine the cause of death. Um, yeah. You know, so it's very sad. Uh, you know, Guar was a very odd band. I was never into ba- into that band, but once again, it's it's very very sad to have to report that kind of news on a show like this. Um, we try to keep it light and, and happy and and everything, uh, but you know that's that's what we got to do. We got to report the news, and this is the you know since we're doing the show on the Monday, this news just came out this morning, so it is the latest piece of news going into recording the episode today. So uh, once again, condolences to the band and to his family and friends. So um, very very sad. All right, let's switch on over to the music. Let's run down the charts, then we'll do the box office, and we'll wrap this baby up. Uh, Billboard charts coming in number 10 uh, for your top albums. It's Eric Church with The Outsiders. Number 9 is Slow Me Down by Sarah Evans. Number 8 is Pure Heroin by Lord. Number 7 is Young Money, uh, Rise of an Empire. Number 6 is 311 with Stereolithic. I didn't even know 311 had a new album out. I'm going to have to check that out. Number five is Pharrell Williams with Girl. Number four is Aloe Black with Lift Your Spirit. Number three is Rick Ross with Mastermind. Number two is Spring Break 6, Like We Ain't Ever by Luke Bryan. And number one still is the Frozen soundtrack. Uh, new in stores now also is the latest from Skrillex. So I got to shout out my boy Skrillex. His new album, Recess is in stores right now. Um, it's his first full-length album, because everything he's released up to this point has been little EPs. It's his first full-length album, and it's it's pretty good. I'm a little disappointed by it, but when the songs are good, they're really good, and when they're bad, they're really bad. So I do have to skip a couple tracks on the album, but overall, it's a pretty solid CD. So new Skrillex in stores now. Switching over to the top 10 singles, coming in at number 10, it's Aloe Black with The Man. Number 9 is Soko with We Might Be Dead by Tomorrow. Number 8 is Beyonce with Drunk in Love featuring Jay-Z. Number 7 is One Republic with Counting Stars. Number 6 is Lord with Team. Number 5 is Bastille with Pompeii. Number 4 is Talk Dirty by Jason Derulo featuring Two Chains. Number 3 is All of Me by John Legend. Number 2 is Dark Horse by Katy Perry. And number 1 is Still Happy by Pharrell Williams. And it's not making me happy that this song is still number 1. It's not. I'm sorry. I don't like it. I hate it, as a matter of fact. Anyways, let's switch on over to the releases and our box office chart. On DVD and Blu-ray tomorrow, um, you will have The Wolf of Wall Street, Delivery Man, Walking with Dinosaurs, and The Truth About Emmanuel. Uh, Wolf of Wall Street is awesome, and Delivery Man is actually a really sweet, funny movie as well. So I definitely suggest checking those two out. In theaters on Friday is going to be Sabotage, Noah, and The Raid 2. I don't know if The Raid 2 is getting a full nationwide release, um, because it is a foreign film. Uh, I hope it does. I would love to see The Raid 2 up on the big screen, because I hear it is amazing. Um, But, you know, and I'm on the fence about Noah, but like I said, I will definitely be seeing Sabotage this weekend. 
And let's run down the box office. Coming in number 10, it's the Single Moms Club with 3.1 million. Coming in number 9, it's the Lego Movie with 4.1 million. Number 8 is Nonstop with 6.3 million. Number 7 is the Grand Budapest Hotel with 7 million. Number 6 is Need for Speed with 7.8 million. Number 5 is God's Not Dead with 8.6 million. Number 4 is 300 Rise of an Empire with 8.7 million. Number 3 is Mr. Peabody and Sherman with 11.7 million. Number two is a debut. It's the Muppets Most Wanted with 16.5 million. I know they were a little disappointed with those totals. Uh, the Muppet movie from last year that came out, or not last year, but a couple years ago, the last Muppets movie, uh, made almost 30 million in its opening weekend. So this one only made 16, so dropping almost 50%. It's been getting really good ratings, though. Uh, a lot of good reviews. Everybody says it's really funny, so. A little sad that it didn't do better, but, you know, 16.5 from Muppets Most Wanted. And number one, no shocker here, it is Divergent. Divergent debuted at number one with $56 million. Um, a little under expectations, though. The studio thought it was going to hit over 60, and it did 56. Um, but in no means is it bad. Uh, it is good. The movie was made for about $80 million, so it's almost made its money back, and that's just, you know on uh, the domestic side so it still has the international releases and it does kind of break the curse that the um, youth adaptation novels have been having lately when they go to film so far you know only twilight and the hunger games have been doing good all these last ones like um, mortal instruments and beautiful creatures and vampire academy like all these other ones that have tried have been bombing so it's good to see divergent do it especially because they've already greenlit the sequel so i think they're breathing a little bit easier now uh, seeing that the first one did pretty decent so divergent your number one film with 56 million dollars and that my friends is gonna do it yes so uh we'll wrap it up here thanks so much once again for listening i want to shout out the affiliates reddragonsradio.com where you can listen to the show in syndication follow on twitter at red dragons radio our friends at excess radio network you can follow on twitter at excess radio um and the guys over at ultimate sports talk where we are in syndication right there on their main front page that's how much they love us over at ultimate sports talk we're not even sports and they put us on their front page ultimate sports talk.com you can follow on twitter at ul T Sports Talk, where you can listen to the show in syndication as well. Of course, you can subscribe to us on iTunes, download, rate, and subscribe. We appreciate it. If you need a link to our iTunes page, it's on our official webpage, amiontheair.com. Click on the Affiliates tab, and you'll see the iTunes button right there. Um, once again, please subscribe to us on I, on uh, YouTube. We post the episodes on YouTube now. Our trailers are on YouTube now. So, I mean, it's a really cool uh, subscription now. So I really would appreciate the support. We're just trying to get that up and going. Um, so once again, it's YouTube.com slash Am I on the Air. Go ahead and subscribe. You can add us on Google Plus as well. Find our circle and give us an ad. Uh, like us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Am I on the Air. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Am I on the Air. Uh, follow me on Twitter at DXDonMega. And um, you can download the Stitcher app if you want to listen to us on the go. That's how you can listen to us on the go is through Stitcher. And um, that'll do it. Thank you so much once again for listening to this March 24th edition, one day after my birthday, um, going down. Truly Outrageous is in the books. And we'll catch you next week for another brand new edition of Am I on the Air? Peace. Red Dragons!